Okay, hello everybody and welcome to your first tutorial in my LEGO HD um, tutorial se series. For those of you who are wondering, this is a Allegro beginner series, just like Allegro made easy. Um, it's just that they're higher quality and they're, they have newer, better, richer content than the original version. To those that have watched the original version, do not exit this video. I repeat, do not. There is a lot of stuff that I did not show you in the first tutorial series that I will be teaching you in this series. And there's a lot of stuff that I never showed you that could be dangerous to your code or your computer that I never showed in your first tutorial series. I never showed you about some ways to avoid memory leaks. And so some of the code that you might be running right now might be causing some memory leaks on your computer, which could in turn be very dangerous because it could slow down your computer. So I'm... The reason why I'm making this tutorial is to really fix up a lot of the stuff that I've, the mistakes that I've made in my um, earlier tutorials to um, to clarify a lot of the things that I've done because a lot of the people have been commenting on my videos and such and I want to make it more clear. I have a brand new mic now, brand new laptop, brand new facilities and everything so this tutorial series should, be better, um, should benefit everybody. So let me erase this so for those newcomers that have never used allegro before let's go to allegro.cc and this is for allegro 4 tutorials not allegro 5 so go to files and you see how it's allegro 5.0 go to 4.4 click that and i'm using microsoft visual studio 2010 so i would download the zip if you're using code blocks then you would download this one the latest version is always the best and um, if you're using Dev C++, then you would download the Allegro Dev Pack, which is not on this website. Um, you should search Allegro Dev Pack on Google, and you should get it. But I would not recommend Dev C++ as a compiler because it's ancient. So you would click the zip or the 7z file and save it wherever you want to. I've already saved it. So let's go to the location where you saved it. Uh and double click it and what you should get is a folder right here and you should get lib include and bin okay so now you're wondering what you're gonna do with them I will show you exactly what to do with them so let's go first and first you have to open up the main directory in which you've downloaded your compiler whether it be code blocks or visual studio you um you want to go to the root folder where you downloaded it at i downloaded it in my d drive and you want to go to visual c not visual c sharp if you have visual studio and you have all these languages then you want to go to vc it stands for visual c double click that and you'll see include um lib and bin okay um so what we want to do is double click include sorry and we want to open the include folder and copy this and drag it all in here in this folder I've already done it so I don't have to do it again then take the lib go back to VC go to the lib folder copy all this so go all the way down um, shift and then click down on the mouse and then drag them all into this folder go back to VC and bin uh, do the exact same thing copy all these files and put it in here now also for the bin you might um, there are certain DLL files that you might want to include into your system 32 or system 64 um, so that you wouldn't have to include all those D DLL files to your actual debug folder. Now I don't know if they've changed this now. I don't know. I'm really not sure. But to be on the safe side, um, I'll show you how to do it anyways. Um, so I'm just gonna search just some 32. And some of you might have multiple System 32s on your computer for some reason. But you want to go to your system 32 where it has all your DLL files, like right here. And you want to drag all the bin files from that folder 
into your system 32 so drag all these into system 32 and that's it so let's open up visual studio now once you go in you want to create a new project visual studio or code blocks make sure it's a windows 32 project name it whatever you want and save it and choose a directory you want to save it in and click OK uh, actually I'll do a new Visual Studio so new project Win32 make sure it's in Win32 blah the, the directory you want to save it in okay next make sure you don't click finish make sure you click next empty project and click finished once you click f once you click finished then you'll be presented with a blank screen nothing will be there you are have to right click on source files files click add new item click CPP and name it main and then you click add I've already done so now to test out to see if Allegro works we have the sample code here and you can get the sample code off my website which is right here coding made easy dot ca right and I'll post it a link in the description as well so you might be thinking oh we can run it already well not exactly you want to go to project um, your project properties go to all configurations configuration properties and go to your linker and then click input and for Visual Studio users, you want to go to edit and put a ledge.lib and put OK and you're done. You're basically, uh, I'm attaching a Lego to the linker. For code block users, there's a different um, way to do it. Um, let me open up code blocks. Um, just show you guys how to do it. Uh, Give me a second here. Okay, so you go to um, project. Oh, we don't have a project open, so let me open one. Uh, C projects. Uh, I have so many projects I don't know which ones I've used with code blocks uh, yeah okay so you go to project properties oh it's not even properties project my bad ha oh, what am I doing it would be under compiler and debugger linker settings and you could link the libraries and what you would put is I was thinking it was dev C++ my bad and what you put is dash L allege right and then click OK and you'll link the libraries don't worry about these these are for SFML a different um, library so don't worry about those and once you do that then every single time you do it any project you make it will be linked to the project so you don't have to do it every single time you make a new project for Visual Studio users every single project you use you always have to go to project properties go to the linker and go to input and put allege.lib so remember to do that now copy this code from my website go to the source code section of the website uh, so I never put it up yet but you go to source code and I, I'll have it under C++ Allegro HD made easy you'll click it and click the first tutorial and copy the source code and post it into your program and run your program and when you run your program you should get a black screen like this so let me zoom out A black screen and when you press a key it should close but since I open the next window 
so when you press any key it should close a window and that should be it and I'll explain what all this stuff does in the next tutorial so thanks for watching this hope you enjoyed it and have a nice uh, day thanks for watching and bye